Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Straight Fire Picks. Best bets for NBA on Friday, November 5th, 2021. My name is Steve and we're going to have four picks here for you today that I think are great value bets for that Friday NBA slate. As always, just want to thank you all for continued support in the channel. If you are new to the channel here today, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Always appreciate that. We're trying to reach 850 subscribers here by the end of the week. Also, be sure to check out our community Discord page. It's a great place to grow with us, um, to get new ideas for bets, and just to chat about sports. It's a lot of fun. Highly encourage that. I'll have a link in the comment section and in the description to that for the Discord page. Also, be sure to post your favorite pick down below in the comment section. If you'd like it included in our comment capper section, just be sure to put a star or an asterisk next to your pick, and we'll include that in the video. So without further ado, let's get right into the results from the previous episode. So for our comment cappers, we didn't have any call-outs in the chat that hit. As far as our stream results, we went 0-2. Uh, the positive of that is we only had two selections. Uh, we had Tyler Harrell over 28.5 PRAs, and we missed on that. Uh, the Heat just played like garbage as a team, and Harrell was probably the worst. <laughs> he had a minus 32 um, uh, spread there when he was on the floor, so that was obviously not very good. And then we had a brutal beat on the under in the 76ers-Pistons game. I mean, there was 78 points scored in the second half, and we, we hit the hook on that. So we had under, or rather over 207.5, and, and it ended at 207. And at halftime, it looked like a lock. But obviously it fell apart. What can you do? We're going to get after it today, though, guys. We're going to get that 4-0. So getting right into our picks at number one. We are going with Miles Bridges here for the Charlotte Hornets over 30 and a half PRAs versus the Sacramento Kings at minus 122 odds. So so far on the season, Bridges has been tearing this line up. He's seven and two to this line with a hook. Uh, he had 30 in one of his games, so obviously we like that. A lot of consistency so far out of Bridges here early on in the season. He's got a pretty solid matchup here too. The Sacramento Kings rank 22nd in defensive efficiency, so I like that. They allow the third most rebounds per game. They allow um, 24th most uh, points per game allowed as well. So I like that. They're not a great defensive team. They only allow, um, you know, they're seventh best as far as assists allowed. So you're not getting a, a ton of value with the assists. But, you know, Bridges' assist line is only about three. So I don't mind having that in there. But overall, it's a great matchup here for Bridges, who's just been absolutely rocking here to start the season. Um, and if they're still going to leave this line at 30 and a half, I'm going to take it. Uh, I've seen it 30 and a half the last few outings or so, and he's been cashing it. So why wouldn't we hop on it here? It's a great matchup. So take it there for your number one pick. Miles Bridges over 30 and a half PRAs here versus the Sacramento Kings and minus 122 odds. Okay, and at number two, we're going with the Portland Trail Blazers. Minus three and a half spread here versus the Indiana Pacers at minus 110 odds. So, so far on the season, the Portland Trail Blazers are three and one at home against the spread. Going up against the Pacers team that is one and three on the road against the spread. And 0 and four overall on the road. They have not been, <laughs> they have not been a team that travels well so far to start the season. And really, they're just... They're lacking talent. Now, they've hung around with a bunch of teams, you know, at home. But overall, the Pacers just are not going to be a great basketball team. It's hard to imagine them being a great basketball team. They just don't have a lot of, a lot of oomph. They have some injuries, you know, as well there. Jeremy Lamb and TJ Warren out for the Pacers. They've been out for a while. You know, two important players for them. Um, they still aren't going to have them available. Coming to this game, the Blazers are fairly healthy. Nothing listed here on the injury report. Uh, so overall, they should be set that way. Still waiting for Lillard to get hot, you know, from beyond the arc and with the shooting touch. He's been a little cold here to start the season. But, you know, this is a great game, uh, you know, for him to get on track, uh, you know, at home against the team that isn't all that good. Um, you know, overall, it's a pretty solid matchup. McCollum's really been carrying this team, uh, particularly at home. McCollum's been very good, so I like that. So far, the Blazers' three wins at home have been by 29, 20, and 19. So they have been absolutely dominant so far at home. They did have one three-point loss there to the Kings at the beginning of the season, but overall, they've been pretty dominant so far this season at home. They're back, you know, here returning Friday night on a day's rest, so no back-to-back -back we have to worry about here, which I also like that. So, yeah, guys, I, I love the matchup here. Like I said, I think overall the Blazers have more, a lot more talent than the Pacers. 
you know, they're playing in their home building. Uh, Got to get things cooking here. I expect them to have a big performance here on Friday night. So take it there for your number two pick. Blazers minus three and a half spread over the Indiana Pacers at minus 110 odds. Okay, and at number three, we are going with C.J. McCollum over 23 and a half points here for the Portland Trailblazers versus the Pacers at minus 104 odds. So, so far on the season, C.J. McCollum is 3-1 to this line at home. He's been very efficient, obviously, playing at home. 4-4 four and four overall, so he's not been good on the road, but he is returning home here on a day's rest, which I like that. Drawing a very solid matchup here. Indiana 20th in defensive efficiency, so obviously that's not that great. Um, you know, the Pacers give up the 25th, uh, they're 25th as far as points per game given up to point guards, and they're 15th as far as points per game allowed to shooting guards. And McCollum plays a little bit of both at times. So, um, you know, either way, I, I feel pretty good about that. At best, the Pacers are middle of the pack as far as their guard play on the perimeter. And overall, you know, defensively, Indiana is very unimpressive on the season. And like I said, McCollum's been very dominant so far this season at home. So I love it, guys. Therefore, our number three pick, C.J. McCollum, over 23.5 points here versus the Indiana Pacers at minus 104 odds. Okay, and finally at number four, we are rolling with the Cleveland Cavaliers plus 5.5 spread here versus the Toronto Raptors at minus 106 odds. So believe it or not, the Cavs are road warriors so far to start the season. They're 4-2 against the spread on the road. They already have wins over the Hornets, Clippers, and Nuggets. All three of those teams I would consider pretty decent teams, especially road victories there for the Cavs. Very impressive. Taking on a Raptors team that actually doesn't bring it at home. They're 1-4 against the spread at home, which is actually very surprising. Uh, when you think about it, the Raptors... I think they're in the midst of a five-game winning streak right now, so the fact that they're 1-4 against the spread is a little surprising. Uh, but like I said, the Cavs are tough. They're pesky. Uh, they don't blow you away with their talent, uh, but overall they play solid defense. They're 10th in defensive efficiency. You know, they are drawn technically against a team that ranks a little bit higher than them. You know, Raptors rank 5th in defensive efficiency. But so far in the season, the Cavs have been really pesky. Uh, you know, just watching that game against the Clippers there, you know, I was like, wow, the Cavs are kicking the snot out of the Clippers on the road. They did it to Denver, too. And I was like, what is going on here? Um, and like I said, the, taking on a Raptors team here that, eh, they don't really impress me that much. I know they've had a pretty light schedule here to start the season. You know, at Raptors so far, as far as the strength of schedule, ranking 21st. You know, so they've had a fairly light schedule. I've seen Orlando in there, Indiana in there. Not all that oppressed. You know, the Cavs, on the other hand, have the seventh toughest schedule so far on the season. They've already, like I said, they've already played the Hornets, Clippers, Nuggets. Um, they've already had, you know, a lot of tough matchups here early on in the season, and they've pulled through in a bunch of them. You know, they're 5-4 and four in the year. Raptors, you know, technically 6-3 and three on the season. But uh, to me, the Cavs have looked more impressive. And if you're going to give me plus 5.5 on the road in this spot with the way the Cavs have been rolling on the road, Raptors struggling at home. I'm going to take this spread. So take it there for your number four pick. Cleveland Cavaliers plus five and a half spread here versus the Toronto Raptors at minus 106 odds. Okay, that's going to do it for our picks. If you enjoyed the content, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Always appreciate that. We're trying to reach 850 subscribers here by the end of the week. Other than that, guys, that's going to do it for me. I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and we will catch you back for the next episode. Peace out.